Welcome back friends. I'm so glad that you're here. Today it is 2023 and I'm so excited for this year coming up, not only in my life, but also on this channel. So with that being said, 2023 this year, I'd love to focus on organization. That is a goal that I've set for myself. I would like to be a little bit more organized in my daily routine, such as, you know, including health, wealth, you know, mental health, as well as physical health, and then just having a good set schedule for myself. So starting off with that, I'm going to start in my craft room, getting that organized, getting the space to a calm area that I can meditate in, I can do photo editings, I can be there and do crafts, DIYs, shoot videos in there for you guys. That is the plan that I have this year for my channel as well as my life. I would like to be a little bit more organized. I get a little bit of OCD. But with that being said, I want to show you guys what I've done in that room so far. Um, we have purchased a few items from Ikea. I will link all of those items below, like always, in the description box, as well as whatever items I got today from Target. So I am doing a mini haul with me. I want to show you some of the bins that I got to help with organization. I may or may not use all of them. I just grabbed pieces that I saw that I was like, oh, this would be good here. This would be great there. But I don't know 100% if I'm using them. You will see in the videos which ones I do keep and which ones I do use and how I utilize them. But with that being said, I'm going to take you to the craft room and show you what's going on in there. All right, friends, so this is my craft room. It is also a spare guest bedroom because we sometimes have friends and family that sleep over, so I wanted to make sure I got a day bed. I got this day bed from Ikea, and I, it comes with, it has these drawers here that you can place like sheets, extra pillows in, and so forth. It also does extend. So um, you can pull this all the way out and it turns into a queen size bed. But right now it's just a simple full, or twin bed. And I just have this quilt over it right now. In this corner, there will be a small little cat tree here. It's for just the cats to have a place to hang out. And then I want to be able to put some shelves up here. I'm going to remove this. In this area and then I'm gonna put some shelves here going over onto this wall this is one of the longest walls in the room so right now I just have my television here it's gonna be mounted so that way it can give me more of my table space for my desk and this is the two levels I was telling you guys about so I have this level for when I want to do anything with my Cricut and this is going to be like where I do my editing and anything that's necessary on the computer, but it is of desk height. So this place is also kind of like where I have the cat litter and stuff like that. So I like to be able to one, conceal and utilize the cat litter for them, but not make it so it's ugly, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, well, I'm, Continuing here, I want to get one of those rolly um, organizational cabinets I was telling you about to go under here since this is the taller area. This will be moved because I want to get a cabinet in our other area to um, place these in so that way they can charge properly. And this is my bookshelf from Ikea. So right now I just kind of shoved everything that was in my old bookcase bookcase on here just in the meantime because I needed to get it done but this will all be organized over here will be organized over here <laughs> and um, let me take you guys over to this part this is our pegboard or my pegboard I should say so um, I started placing some stuff up so like my Cricut um, mats I want to be able to hang them up so they're not laying down because they were laying down before in my cabinet and it was taking up a lot of space so you can get this pegboard at ikea but they have a very similar one to amazon that i saw later the reason why i kept this one was because i liked some of the organizational tools like this from ikea it slides in and out but because this is an oval shaped pegboard versus the circular one there aren't a lot of options 
on Amazon for me to buy supplies for the pegboard. So I did like these, so I wanted to continue with this one. So yeah, they slide in and out. These are really great for any kind of knickknacks that you guys might have. Pin cushions, paper clips, um, anything. <laughs> I mean, I think these are even good for like if you have like nail screws for um, your garage or wherever you decide that you want to keep this pegboard. These are also good with hanging. This tray comes as well. And the hooks that we got, um, I'll have to try and see if I can find them. Scott got them on Home De at Home Depot and he put up the pegboard when I was at work. But yeah, I'll tell you guys because I think that uh, the anchors that went into the wall can hold up to like, it's like over 40 pounds for sure. So yeah, and then... I like to get a shelf here because I have a miniature shelf and it's very, very small. But I'd like to be able to place some of these little things, some hanging florals, as well as my brother got me some Funko Pop dolls for Christmas. And I'd like to be able to place those up there. I think that would be really cute. But yeah, um, not much else going on in here. I do want to get an area rug in here. Do not mind this, guys. This is also changing. My cats just take over the whole household. But this essentially will be moving. They'll have their little cat tree over here. And it'll have a bed. So they won't need it. But yeah, that is what it's looking like for now. So without further ado, let's get back into the haul. That's where all the goodies all right, are. So for the haul, I'm going to start off with items that I got at Target because it's very small amounts. I got this basket from the Target dollar spot. Um, I just went today. Today is January 4th. <laughs> so just in case you guys are wondering, I went today and I got these from the Target Dollar Spot. They're only $5 and I thought they were really good because when I went to Home Goods, I think these ran about like eight or $9.99, something like that. But I um, thought this would be good to, keep, to put on like the bookshelf and place some items in here. And if I want to keep it a little bit messy, I don't really have to worry about it. I only got one for now because I'm not sure how I'm going to utilize this one. I have to go through all of my papers and, and I told you guys, organization. <laughs> then I also got these. These are from the Bright House. I think these are Bright House. Let me see. I don't know. I think these are Bright House, but <laughs> um, they're on. Yeah, they are because they're on sale. So it was Bright House. Uh, y weaved if you see like it has a Y here that's what they call it these are on sale for two dollars or 250 so I had got a few of these they're pretty deep long these would be good to go inside the bottom portion where I have my cabinet I can place a few items in there so I got three of those for right now and then in that same line I got these taller ones because the bins that I had before for my old cabinet don't fit in this new cabinet. So these are a little bit shorter and not as wide or deep. So, or deep this way, but they're deep this way. So, um, yeah, I got a few of these. These were $7.00. Yes, there were $7. And when I looked on the Target app, it says that all of their um, their wire weaved is supposed to be on sale 50%. So I have to go back and see if I can um, get them to honor that as well. Because I got two of them, so that would be nice. I got this color. They had it in white and blue and black white, blue, and black, but the whites were all gone, so I just ended up going with the gray. I thought the black would be a little bit too heavy, and it would look too much like an office, and I didn't really want that, because I, like I said, I want it to be more of a calmed area space for myself. Also from Bright Room at Target, I got this set. It is um, a stackable plastic canister set. 
Uh, I want to use these in the kitchen, in our kitchen pantry area. It's not really a pantry, it's just a very deep cabinet that's very hard to utilize, but I am determined to make it functional for us. So I figured this was really good. This was only $25 and I thought it was a good deal. You get, I believe six pieces or five pieces. So that wasn't too bad. Um, then moving on to home goods, I went there right after I went to Target and I was like, ah, I just wanna see what else they have. I wasn't really gonna stop, but I really needed a smoothie because I got my braces tightened and when my braces are tightened, I can't eat anything. <laughs> so the best thing for me to eat is a smoothie or to have is a smoothie and I get like whey protein in it and whatever. But I ended up finding this um this set at home goods it's just a white bin set it was 12.99 for two so yeah the only thing that i'll say this one had was like a little scuff mark but i'm pretty sure i can get that out with a um like one of those mr clean erasers so i'm not too worried about that then i had found these like storage boxes from there as well these guys and these were $9.99 each this one was $9.99 and then I got it like I said I got a second one so two don't know how I'm gonna use them yet I'll figure it out <laughs> then the next one I got which these I really love and I'm gonna find some way to, to use them because I'm in love with them are these storage boxes and this is essentially really what I wanted I want something that looked like this so this will probably go out in the empty shelves of the bookshelf just so that way I can see them in their beautiful glory and I really hope they work out but the larger one was $9.99 and then I also got a smaller one the smaller one same thing but was $7.99 they did have a larger, larger one, and that one I believe was $12.99. So you could get the three, but it was fine. I don't think I needed three, especially since I had the other ones. But that's all I got right now, guys, and it's a good start. <laughs> I do want to get myself um, a like filing cabinet, or yeah, I guess like filing cabinet, but not really a cabinet. I just want like a box like this that's really deep. I think I saw them off of Amazon and you can file like important papers and put it away. And that's essentially what I want. I just want to be able, I don't want a full on cabinet for it because I don't have that much paperwork, but for anything that's important and things that I keep, cause you know, you're supposed to keep things for 10 years and then you can shred it. But <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm really excited for the new year and being able to share these organizational habits with you guys, as well as some health habits that I want to start implementing. So that's like diet, exercise, meditation, certain apps that are beneficial for anxiety, depression, um, so if you guys are interested in seeing that content, I really hope that you consider subscribing if this is your first time today. And if you are a subscriber, I hope you enjoy this content. I will still consider, um, continue to do like clean and decorates with me, but I do want to focus on how to make my home more of a comfortable living space for us, a place where I can come home and I don't feel stressed, I don't feel like I have to do something in order for me to feel like I'm enjoying my home. So that's just something that we wanna work on. You know, we did the accent wall, we got our our sofas this year, and or past year in 2022, and that was something that really dawned on us for a while because we're like, what are we gonna do? We haven't found sofas that we liked and Every time I walked in, Scott, men are different, but when I walked in, I just had anxiety about what I wanted my home to look like, why I'm not comfortable in it yet. And we're slowly getting there, and I really do believe in financially prepping yourself for these events. So don't think that just because you see it on YouTube or you see it on social media that you have to get it right away. 
I am also a creature of falling into that and I have to sometimes talk to myself and be like, you don't need that. So like with these bins, there are some of them that I'm not going to be able to utilize and that's fine, but I need to know what my limit is. And most, not most of them, but maybe one or two items I will not be able to use and I'll let you guys know that. I'm not going to say these are the items that I used and you don't ever see them in my craft room because I return them. I will be 100% open with you, but the purpose of this is to give you guys ideas. So even if it doesn't work for me, it doesn't mean that it won't work for you in your area. I'm working with a small square footage of that room and I just want to be able to make it very accessible, very um, functionable and I want to utilize as much space of it as I can in a beneficial way. I don't want it to be super overbearing and clutter everywhere because I have bins and bins and bins of, for organization but it ends up being less organized because it's so cluttered. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, what this channel is going to focus on and I want you guys to be able to just be free with your um, your expression, your health expression, your emotionally, how you express yourself. I don't, I feel like a lot of times people are being suppressed on how they're supposed to feel based off of social media and society. And I just want you guys to know that this is a safe space. It's, I started this channel because I wanted to have a safe space of friends and people that enjoy the same things as me and I know that there are some people that don't enjoy my channel and that's perfectly fine. I hope you do find a YouTuber that you enjoy and you connect with. I want to be able to connect with you guys and I really hope that I can achieve that in the videos that I put out in the future. But um, I really hope that everybody had a great holiday and are is really excited to start this new year because I really am and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!